And of course, you just heard we have that Italian American parade rolling at six in the quarter. And Daniel, we're hoping the weather's going to cooperate because it's been uh, beautiful so far. It's going to be nice. So it's an easy evening for me where we're just tracking some nice weather for the parade or any other outdoor activities. You will notice some extra clouds though, and that will continue into Sunday. But some beautiful weather for us. Quiet conditions across southeast Louisiana and a coastal Mississippi. As we widen the view out, you see more clouds building in from the Gulf of Mexico, and the rain is well to the north. However, this is our next cold front that we're also watching, and so the moisture building out ahead of it, it's eventually going to be pushed down toward our area, and so that will introduce another rain chance for us, mainly as we go into early next week. But a live look outside, great day to be outside, 73 degrees, wind a little breezy though, out of the south at 11 miles per hour. Maybe take your four-legged friend out for a walk. It is National Puppy Day, so I had to sneak these in here. Tara showing me Buster, who got into a little bit of a mess, but you can't be mad at that face there. And then this is Rusty and Sandy enjoying a nice day indoors. This one is from my friend Lynn, and she says that they love bubbles. So they like to chase the bubbles as they're outdoors. Hey, I posted on my Facebook page a call out for those pictures. Find me on social media, Daniel Graves WDSU or at Daniel WDSU on Twitter. And we'll show you more of those pictures. Here's your dog walking forecast. If you're going out this evening, 72 degrees by 6 o'clock. Some clouds through the night. It will get chilly, though, as we go overnight with temperatures dropping into the 50s area wide. Checking out your forecast for tomorrow. No rain chances, but some clouds will be hanging out as we go throughout the day with highs into the mid 70s. So overnight, we will start to see some clouds trying to form here as we get into the morning. Some patchy fog in a couple of areas. Here comes some more clouds throughout the day. Otherwise, temperatures again going to be pretty nice. It'll be a mild afternoon. Here comes the rain, though, as we go into Monday. That's because a lot of moisture again, as I said, continues to fill in coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. And as this front finally starts to push toward the south, it brings that moisture right along with it. So you may see a few passing showers as we go throughout the day on Monday. You can see late morning indicating a few showers around southeast Louisiana. And then as the front makes its push, not showing a lot of rainfall along the front, but I do anticipate still seeing that potential for a few showers or not isolated thunderstorm through the afternoon and early evening. The front sweeps through and then we're back to some dry conditions. We've been enjoying some really nice days here across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. So again, Monday is the day for some possible showers. Otherwise, our dry trend continues with temperatures into the upper 70s through Monday. We'll see that cold front sweep through. It does drop temperatures a couple of degrees. It'll make it feel a little less humid too as we go toward the middle and later part of next week. Right now we're in the upper 60s to low to mid 70s. Wind's still coming in out of the Gulf and it's breezy at times, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear, partly cloudy overnight. Temperatures could drop as low as 50 for parts of the North Shore. Passing clouds for you tomorrow. Otherwise, another enjoyable day with temperatures in the mid to the upper 70s. We do see our rain chance on Monday. And then temperatures a little bit cooler, some 40s and 50s each morning. Through Thursday, we warm back up with a slight rain chance as we go toward next weekend.